page 677, number 17. Find the standard form of the equation of the ellipse. Find the center, vertices, foci, and eccentricity, and sketch the graph. Okay, now we know we've got an ellipse because, first of all, both the x and y values are squared, but the stretch in the x squared and y squared direction is different. So, and they're both different in a positive direction. So we're talking about an ellipse here. Okay, so... First of all, let's try to write this in standard form. So I'm going to get my x's together, 6x squared plus 18x. Then I'll leave a space. Then I'll get my y's together, plus 2y squared minus 10y. And I'll leave another space, and then we'll say equals, and we'll move that 2 over to the right-hand side, equals negative 2. Okay. Now, to complete the square, I need to have 1 in front of my square term. So I'm just going to factor out a 6. So I have 6 times x squared plus 3x, and then we'll leave a space. Plus, and we'll do the same with our y's. We'll factor out a 2. 2 times y squared minus 5y, and we'll leave a space again. And we'll say that equals negative 2. Okay. Now, to complete the square, since I have a 1 in front, what I have to do is take half of this value right here. Well, half of 3 is 3 halves, and when I square that, I get 9 fourths. So I'm going to write plus 9 fourths. Now, to keep things balanced, I have to add something to this right-hand side. Now, don't add 9 fourths. Instead, what we're really adding is 6 times 9 fourths. So if I take 6 over 1 times 9 over 4, I get 54 over 4, which is the same as 27 halves, 27 over 2. I can complete the square right here the same way. Half of negative 5 is negative 5 halves. And if I square that, I get 25 fourths. Now, don't add 25 fourths on the right-hand side. Instead, 2 times 25 fourths is 50 fourths. And I can reduce that to 25 halves. Okay, so let's rewrite this. 6 times, I can factor this as x plus 3 halves squared. Plus 2 times... We could factor this as y minus 5 halves squared equals. Now over here, 27 halves plus 25 halves is 52 halves, or 26, plus negative 2 is 24. Now the last step to get this into standard form is to divide every set of terms by 24. And these two sets of terms on the left, these fractions will cancel out, they'll reduce. And here's what we'll be left with. We'll have x plus 3 halves, quantity squared, all over 4, plus y minus 5 halves, quantity squared, all over 12, is equal to 1. Okay, now that we've got it in standard form, we can work on the center, vertices, foci, and eccentricity. First of all, the center. The center is defined by these numbers in parentheses. So my center is at negative 3 halves, comma, 5 halves. So let's just graph that. Negative 3 halves, comma, 5 halves will be right about here. So there's my center. Now to find my vertices. The numbers below the x and the y tell the stretch in the x and y direction. So since I have a 4 below the x, a stretch in the x direction is 2 units. So if I got 2 units left and 2 units right, I'll have 2 vertices. My stretch in the y direction is the square root of 12 units. Well, the square root of 12 is somewhere between 3 and 4. It's about 3 and a half. So if I go up 1, 2, 3 and a half, I'll be about here. Down 1, 2, 3 and a half, I'll be about here. So my ellipse will look something like ooh, something like this. So let me write down those vertices. Those vertices are at the point 1 half, comma, 5 halves. I've also got a ver vertex at, let's see here, 1, 2, at 3 and 1 half, negative 3 and 1 half, comma, 5 halves. We've also got a vertex at negative one and a half comma negative one 
And we've got a vertex at negative one and one half, comma, it looks like we're up one, two, three, four, five, four, comma, six. Okay, now I need my foci. To find my foci, we've got an equation that goes a squared minus b squared equals c squared. Well, a squared is whichever of these quantities is bigger. So in this case, it's 12 minus b squared is whichever of those quantities is smaller. So 12 minus 4 is equal to c squared, or I get 8 equals c squared, or c equals the square root of 8, which is a little less than 3. So that means that my foci are about 3 units up and down from the center. So if I go up 1, 2, about 3 units, I'll be right here. And down one, two, about three units, I'll be right here. So my foci are at the points negative three halves, comma, five halves, plus or minus the square root of eight, or two square root of two. Okay, last, my eccentricity. Eccentricity is defined as the ratio of C over A. Well, C, we found, was the square root of 8, or 2 square root of 2. A was the bigger of these two quantities, so that's going to be 12. So my eccentricity, I can reduce that and write it as the square root of 2 over 6. So there's my center, vertices, foci, eccentricity, and graph of this ellipse.